Is Jon Snow Azor Ahai? Jon Snow's resurrection shook Game of Thrones fans last season, not just because he's now alive, but because it points to him being Azor Ahai himself, the prince that was promised. According to Game of Thrones lore, thousands of years ago, a great warrior named Azor Ahai, who with his mighty sword Lightbringer, defeated the great others and pushed back the darkness, restoring peace to the realm. Azor Ahai is said to be reborn amid salt and smoke. At the end of season five, Jon Snow's wounds are said to be smoking, as Bowen Marsh stands before him with salty tears running down his cheeks. And Aemon Targaryen says he must have dragon blood. Legend also says Azor Ahai is born beneath a bleeding star. In the Tower of Joy flashback, we see Ned Stark placing Dawn, the famous sword of House Dane, at the foot of Lyanna's bloody bed after killing Sir Arthur Dane, Dawn's original master. Dawn is said to have been forged from a falling star, which gives House Dane its sigil of a sword and a falling star. If Snow is the son of the late crown prince Rhaegar Targaryen and Lyanna Stark, whose dying words were, promise me, Ned, that would mean that he has dragon blood and literally make him the prince that was promised. There are other clues too. In the ancient books of Ashai from over 5,000 years ago, Azor Ahai is to be reborn again as a champion sent by R'hllor, the Lord of Light. In A Dance with Dragons, Melisandre says, I pray for a glimpse of Azor Ahai, and R'hllor shows me only snow. In the same book, Jon Snow has a dream where he has a fiery red sword in his hand. Lightbringer could very well be House Dane's legendary sword, Dawn, whose name has significance. The Battle of Dawn is known as the last battle where Azor Ahai defeated the White Walkers with his flaming sword, Lightbringer. The book series that Game of Thrones is based on is called A Song of Ice and Fire. If we think of Rhaegar Targaryen as the Fire Prince due to his dragon heritage, and Northern Lyanna Stark as the Ice Princess, then it makes sense that Jon Targaryen is the hero Azor Ahai who will ultimately defeat the White Walkers, the true embodiment of a song of ice and fire. But what do you think?